My name is Mark Millett, owner of Solar World LLC, here to keep you updated on the uh, the progress of this particular job that we're doing right now. These are uh, 385 monocrystalline, um, non-bifacial, uh, tier one uh, panels from uh, uh, Signature Solar. These are the 5.2 kW batteries that we're going to be using for this particular off-grid application. Also with the 5,000 watt transformer from Solar Edge. Of course, you've seen these products on YouTube and other things. So this is what we're doing here for the off-grid. I'll go ahead and show you the racking system that we just completed, um, which is going to be, uh, w which was completely made out of steel and um, uh, completely welded. So let me go ahead and show you this. All right. So this is a 100 thousandth thick steel box tube all the way through this is the two by six this is the frame that holds the 20 foot span from post to post so this is 20 foot on dead center as you can see pretty close it's very level uh, same uh, configuration two by six goes all the way across from beam to beam again another 20 by 20 so that equals up to uh, 400 square foot of actual space now the panel configuration to equal that 400 uh square foot ratio, you know, determines really just off the panel space itself. So we uh, implicate the 24 inch overhang on both sides. To accommodate that, we place the panels on top, all the way across, make it look good, clear, straight, and then whatever is left over, we just nip off. So it makes it pretty easy. Uh, this configuration is calling for seven panels. So we're gonna do uh, seven panels and three strings individually. And uh, so they're running three individual inverters, three individually uh, driven battery banks um, on the same storage system, but individual. So they're going to be uh, doing their own power output. We have our main ground, and I just ran the, uh, the three lines here for negative and positive coming off the rack here. We're going to have a main shutoff switch right here, as you can see on the, the pole here. So then we just took the conduit. That you see right here placed it to where it would normally be right there right then we're gonna put the switch right here have the wires coming down as you can see all the way through put another 90 which cuts around here now we had to be careful of the um, septic lines and things of that nature so as you can see you know we have a cap here and then uh, where is it oh there's an obstruction over there so we had to cut it across pretty tight and then we come over here we have other lines so this is the reason why I like to prefer to hand dig everything that we're doing because um, if you're using the machine you can't feel that right so thank god those don't get busted that one goes to the sink that one's from probably a shower comes all the way this is where I'm running my lines. So to get through this fence, we're going to do a hard 90. As you can see, Rez is down there. He's digging along. We're going to be cutting across up on top of this beam in the back end part. Um, and that's where we're going to be placing our batteries, inverters, all that stuff right next to the main switch and hub. So leftover parts, a lot of work to do. Rack looks beautiful, doesn't it? Hi, Jordan. <laughs> all right. Anyways. You have a great day.